Hello everyone and welcome to the 2017 Sports in Review. I am Kenny Williams. Stay with us on a 30 minute ride as we go back through some of the major sporting moments of that year. For over 40 years, we have been your health partner. We have been a part of this country. Each day, we have opened our doors and our hearts to provide you, our customers, the top quality service and information that you need. We are proud of what we have been able to build with you and we are committed to continuing that excellence. We are going to continue leading the way in healthcare. Thank you for being a part of us. When persons with TB sneeze or cough, healthy persons nearby breathe in the droplets and the bacteria can lodge in their lungs. People with weakened immune systems such as HIV AIDS, alcohol and drug users, smokers, children and the elderly are most susceptible. Persons with a cough should take precautions when in contact with persons in public places. Cover your mouth when sneezing and coughing. Visit your doctor or health center. You must complete your treatment. TB can be cured even with HIV. Be responsible. Help stop the spread of TB and HIV. Protect yourself and others. Welcome back. In 2011, Windsor Park Sports Stadium hosted its first test match, West Indies versus India. Approximately six years later, the home team returned to put on a lovely display of cricket for the fans. After a hard-fought battle at trying to secure a draw, West Indies went down to Pakistan by 101 runs, which caused Pakistan to win their first test series in the Caribbean after a close to 59-year drought. Ms. Baulak and Yunis Khan officially retired from Test Cricket after that game in May. West Indies played with much resistance until the final delivery in the penultimate over bowled to Shannon Gabriel. Gabriel played a careless shot, losing his wicket at a crucial time when the Windies needed a win. Final scores from that encounter, Pakistan 376 and 174 for 8 declared, West Indies 247 and 202 all out, targeting 304. Roston Chase was awarded player of the match, while Yasir Shah got player of the series. Sajiko General Somerset defeated league leaders Police Sports Club by three wickets in the 2017 Fort Young Hotel Intermediate Cricket League. Final scores, Police 139 all out, Somerset 104 for seven. Sonal Ambris and Shane Schillingford had record-breaking performances for Winwood Volcanoes when they helped their team defeat Leeward Islands Hurricanes by seven wickets in the PCL Regional 40 tournament in March. Sonal Ambris broke the record of highest score of a Windward's batsman in regional first-class cricket set by Junior Murray since 1997, updating it from 218 to 231. Schillingford reached 500 first-class wickets at the end of that match. Dominico Olympic Committee had a complete change in executive at elections in May, with the highlight being Billy Doctorow elected president over incumbent Felix Wilson. The vote count was 8-5 in favor of Doctorow, with one spoilt ballot. The vote tonight clearly indicates that member associations were not satisfied with the direction which the Olympic Committee was going. They were, it, it, felt, it was felt, I, I would say, that the vote was astray and we have been, been given the responsibility to try and bring that boat on an even keel. It's going to take a great deal of sacrifice from my team up here, but I'm confident that we can go out there and regain that kind of confidence of the public. Marpin Sports reached out to Felix Wilson for feedback on the elections. He said he had absolutely no comment on the matter. Several sporting disciplines and stakeholders in sports were affected due to the passage of the September 18 hurricane. President of Dominica Olympic Committee, Billy Doctorow, said DOC stepped in to assist those in need. We have categorized the, the, um, the damages in, in three categories, in mild, severe, and, 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 and total destruction because we have, we have some athletes and coaches, persons involved in sports who lost their, their, their dwelling houses completely. So we have identified just over um, 20 persons who, um, who are different levels of, of, um, of damage and um, we have made the recommendation to the Olympic Committee and um, we are hoping that um, in the near future that they can come back with a positive word to help in the, 
in the um, refurbishment of those of those persons and their and, and, and their homes. Um, we're looking at one or two um, facilities around Dominica where we can possibly make some kind of contribution where we can get, again get the Olympic Committee and PASO to, to assist us in, in, that, in, in that area. DOC said its goal for 2018 will be to have more qualified coaches which are likely to result in improved athlete performance. Mitchell Davis copped the coveted Sportsman of the Year Award for 2016, as well as Track and Field's Most Valuable Player of that year, at the 11th staging of the National Sports Awards. 40 awards were given out at the ceremony under the theme, Inspiration, Aspiration, Motivation, Success. Well, I was a little bit surprised because um, I didn't expect the award. I, I knew I was receiving um, MVP Athlete of the Year. I didn't know I was getting Sportsman of the Year, but only thanks go to God. The award for Sportswoman of the Year went to Valerian Spencer. Awardees received financial and other gifts for their achievements. She and Shanna Robin won gold in the Tiger Bomb International Competition in Canada. I was victorious and got gold. And that's my first time entering this tournament as well. The Tiger Bomb International is a two-day martial arts tournament which features a variety of hard and soft forms along with 11 sparring categories. Casabru Secondary successfully defended their title in the Sports Division Girls Championships against Dominica State College, winning in straight sets 3-0. And Dominica State College had similar fortunes when they defended their title in the male championships in three straight sets. A 10-month training program resulted in Dominica men's team placing second in the World Championship qualifiers in August. The national coach said there was room for improvement. As a coach, I'm not happy with coming in second. I would have wanted to have gotten gold um, as the aspiration of any coach. And after working with a team for 10 months, you really want to take gold and go into the next level. Notwithstanding, um, I was happy with the outcome of the guys, not happy with the final results, but as a coach, you always look to better going forward. Dominica Grammar School copped the Sports Division Secondary Schools Athletics Championships in the male and female categories. In the male class, the DGS recorded 234 points, with the nearest contender being Casabru Secondary on 115. The girls of DGS finished on 162 points, with Dominica State College on 127. In January, Dominica Grammar School defeated Portsmouth Secondary six goals to two in the Sports Division Under-13 Football Championships. The boys and them train for the, for the Christmas holidays for the past couple of weeks when after school open we have been training and I mean we have been focusing on the technical part of the game. At, at, that, at that level it's not much about strength, it's about technique. So we, we focus a lot on the technique and today I was very much impressed because everything we, we practice, I was seeing it in the game and it, it went all throughout the game. So I know the, the program is working and the future is looking good. We considered in the first 45 seconds of the game and that throw our game plan totally out of the window. Um, minute 11 we considered another one so we were always on the back foot. And at the end, the nerves that the guys had, I mean by the time we got over the nerves, we were already 4 nil down. You know, they had a better, they gave a better showing in the second half, but by then um, the lead was just too much. Dominica State College and Portsmouth Secondary won the secondary schools under 20 boys and girls basketball championships respectively in May. PSS defeated Dominica State College girls 52-42 to be crowned champion. In the boys game, DGS dominated 71-52 to win the championship. You are watching the 2017 Sports in Review. When we come back, we will tell you about a team that went two years undefeated in football. M&J Covering is the producer of designed galvanized and galvalum in Dominica. They design to your specifications, color and length, four styles of galvanized and galvalum pre-painted roofing sheets as requested and supply all your galvalum accessories. M&J Covering helps you control spending and reduce waste. At M&J Covering, they are also equipped to build your roof to precise standards anywhere on island. So come to M&J Covering at One Mile in Portsmouth or call 445-5001-275-5003 today. Welcome back. 
You may have seen them in a combination of neon yellow and blue or blue and white. But one thing is for sure, they were a force to be reckoned with. Central Cooperative Credit Union Dublin Football Club copped the DFA Flow Premier League trophy for the second consecutive time. Glensworth Elise, Ludwig Bertrand, Travis Joseph got one each for Dublin, giving their team an easy 3-0 win against Sajikor Southeast. Well, you know, it's a great feeling, you know, right now Dublin football team should be the example of Dominica football, you know. So and we are a hard, very hard working team and we always put in the work and keep the unity strong. And that's why we became champions again. Captain of Sajiko Southeast said missing out on what he believes should have been two penalties cost them the game. We were in the game. It was a 1-0 and we had two shots for a penalty, which the referee decided that it wasn't a penalty. And I think from there we went downhill. The 2017 OECS Cycling Championships was a hit and the Dominicans along its route came out despite the weather to support the riders. Antiguan representative Jim Bridges won the 96.6 km race which was hosted here for the first time. St. Lucia's Andrew Norbert finished second while third place went to Antigua's Marvin Spencer. Bram Sanderson was Dominica's first finisher, followed by Levi Barron and Chester Leitan. There were 31 registered riders in the competition. The Queen's Baton received a great reception upon arrival here in June. The Baton made stops at State House and other locations in the city. It was well received by athletes and other stakeholders in sports. We have brought in quite a few young young persons, athletes, you know, students from schools, you know, different dif different persons, you know, in different areas of, of, of our life, who who who, um, who contribute to to, to, to our, our, our well-being. But most of them are in sports, uh, so we're just happy that we could be part of that and, and host the, the Queen Battle for for four days. We 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 had a courtesy call on the on his Excellency Mr. Mr. Savre um, today. And you know it, it, was, it, was, it was well it was, it was well received. And tomorrow the, 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 the delegation will be having more as a social day where we'll be visiting different areas of, of, of Dominica. The matter was expected to cover over 300,000 kilometers by the time it ended its journey in Australia in 2018. While here, the Queen's Baton visited the State House and was carried around Roseau by athletes to commemorate the 2018 Commonwealth Games. President of Dominica Olympic Committee Billy Doctrove was thrilled to have local athletes be part of the quadrennial event. The DFA formally introduced football coach Rajesh Joseph Lachu to the football family and media in March. The first thing is I, I glad to invite all the players. This election will always be open and as I see them, and as this is the material, they have certain material we're looking for. If they fit the material, they continue. If they don't fit the material, whether it be old players, bad habits, whatever it is, clean slate. And we start with that. Um, in terms of the goals for the next 18 months, the first one is dealing with the Winwood Island tournament. Dominica finished second in the 2017 Winwood Island Senior Men's Tournament and undefeated, just one point away from host Grenada. Dominica needed a win in their final match to capture their first championship title in the tournament, but drew two all against St. Vincent and the Grenadines. National coach Rajesh Lachu said the tournament was a great experience for his team since it provided the opportunity for them to gauge their skills. From this tournament, I know we have a foundation to build with, with the players. More international games to work on those tactical things, a little more technical things also. But at least now we have a gauge and we came out and each team gave us fight. Nobody, no one lied down, so it wasn't easy football. So that pushed the players. As long as they keep getting pushed, they will become better. Lubraim Kotelba, advisor to the Secretary General of the International Basketball Federation, FIBA, visited Dominica in January, where he met with key stakeholders in sports to help improve the basketball product here. Kotelba presented a detailed assessment to FIBA highlighting the positive aspects of basketball in Dominica and the areas in which improvement is necessary. In November, Dominica Football Association reported that regional and international organizations came on board to help football recover post-Hurricane Maria. We got some assistance, I must say, right after the storm I was on my phone and, and to various associations, to FIFA, to CONCACAF and I must say they were very supportive to the Dominica Football Association in terms of, of some relief. You know, we got relief from the St. Lucia Football Association, Grenada Football Association, the Montreal Football Association, CONCACAF, 
And, well, we did not get relief directly, when I mean relief, what we call relief from FIFA, but at least the FIFA reps were on island. They saw exactly um, the damage of the playing field, so we expect them now to, to, to help us in that line in terms of um, getting some of our playing field, especially the gold project up and about. So I believe all in all, yes, Maria has come. It's something that we had no control over. But the DFA has stepped up into the plate and did not just sit back, but has continued their work. And that's the position now where we are at this time. West Indies Cricket Board explored the possibility for upcoming generations to be knowledgeable in the area of cricket by including its history as part of CSEC examinations. WICB's Marketing and Communications Manager Carol Beckford said the marriage of cricket history to physical education could help solidify the social, business and political implications of the sport on the minds of students. In a nail-biting final of the Confidence Yourself White City Football League, Vipers Football Club stole the game from Baltrix United on penalty kicks to become champions. It was a tense game and they, they scored first and slightly pressure on us, but um, I told my team we don't, we don't want to give up in that game because it's just in, in the first half they scored. Anyway, I leveled the score at the half, so at half time we went 1-1. Um, so that gave us a chance to recover ourselves and we came in the second half and they ended up getting a red card and um, changed the game completely but they still had most of the position so we are going for the draw and then we made it in the penalty. St. Mary's Academy dethroned the defending champions Dominica State College by an innings and 22 runs in the 2017 Massey United Insurance Under-20 Cricket League Final. DSC batted first and were bowled out for 63 runs. Daniel Dupini took 6 for 32. In reply, SMA reached 186. Tash Tavernier had a game high of 82, while Daniel Dupini added 66. Batting a second time, DSC was all out for 101. Well, it's a really good feeling after a long time playing for SME. It really means a lot winning a championship for SME. We had a real all around performance starting with the ball to bowling mode for 63 was a very great achievement. And then coming back to bat, getting 189, that's really good from the team. And then bowling, on, bowling them out again was really good. All wrong performance. All right. Captain of the college team said poor performance on the first day cost them the match. Well, I thought um, our batting went wrong yesterday afternoon. Um, we didn't really stick around in the crease. Um, we were playing like his T20 and that really didn't, uh, didn't help us. Well, we could take this loss as a motivation into next year. Um, I think um, we, new players coming in, I think they'll, they'll help, help us step up next year. Stay tuned. We have much more in store for you right after the break. For over 40 years, we have been your health partner. We have been a part of this country. Each day, we have opened our doors and our hearts to provide you, our customers, the top quality service and information that you need. We are proud of what we have been able to build with you and we are committed to continuing that excellence. We are going to continue leading the way in healthcare. Thank you for being a part of us. Les moun ki ni tibi estene e ben tou se, moun ki an bon santé oli wen ka wespiwe se vemin lan. Moun ki pani bon tepe waman kon sa ki ni maladi HIV, alcohol, kafime, ti mamay e gwa moun bien sensib pou se maladi sa la. Moun ki katou se ni pou pran pokosyon le yo an pami moun an plas publik. Kouve bouchou le ou ka estene e ben tou se. Visite dokte ou e ben plas santé ou. Fini tout tweetman yo ba ou pou sa jwen djerizon e pi maladi tibi. An responsabilite ou, ede dou bout Simen Maladi TB et HIV. Proteje kou et lezo. Thanks for staying with us. A young man stole the spotlight on the track scene in 2017 and made a habit of breaking records in the 1 and 200 meter events. National youth sprinter Daniel Sun Mahote set national records in the 100 meters at 10.61 seconds and the 200 meters 21.61 seconds in July. He was the only medalist for Dominica at the Commonwealth Youth Games in Bahamas with a silver medal in 2017. 
In September, Trinbago Knight Riders outperformed St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots to win the 2017 Caribbean Premier League final. In a low-scoring thriller, Patriots scored 135 runs for the loss of six wickets. Set an achievable 136 for victory, Knight Riders' opening batsman stay at the crease was short-lived. However, in the crucial moments of the game, Kevon Cooper capitalized on poor bowling from Patriots to help Knight Riders win by six wickets, their second CPL title in three years. When I saw them set the field, I know they were bowling to my strengths. Um, like it in the ball over cover, so um, I was comfortable with that. And as I was telling Ram, then, um, if we can get 17 in this over, we'll have a great chance of winning. But I just happened to score more than 17 in that over. As I told Bravo, you know, it's been a while I've been making runs with the bat. And what a night, what a day, what a game to come out. And such a great performance for my team, you know. Um, this win is very special to me, um, you know. Um, I've been with this franchise five years. and. It's been a long road for us, so thank God. Mao Soka Strikers was crowned champions of the DFA Division I League final when they defeated Digicel Newtown Juvenile Academy Harlem United 2-1. Basically, my team, we were determined. We maintained we're not going to lose tonight. Today, a matter of fact. Yes, yes, yes. We maintained this was our own. We, I think we had, it was time that we shot, shot it up the critics. They thought that we would never make it to the finals, as a matter of fact. During the season, we had some mishaps, setbacks, started off the season on a back foot, on a minus three, but we didn't, did not let that bring us down. We just kept on going, kept on going, took our training. Not really serious as other teams, but we still did what we had to do in order to make it to the finals. Meantime, coach of the Harlem side said the absence of their lead striker was a major blow in the final. When you lose a striker in the caliber of Randolph Peltier, it really leaves a, a hole in your offense. And, and um, we really miss him um, this afternoon. We didn't play um, the game that we normally play um, for the season. Uh, we were kind of slow uh, to the ball uh, uh, this game. And I think that Mahu was a more hungrier team. Uh, they, came, they came here you know, to win the game. And I think um, they played the game that they deserve to, to play to, to win the game this evening. Keon Burton took first place in the under-20 boys javelin throw in a distance of 62.14 meters at the 2017 Curifter Games for the Nature Isle in Curacao. He topped Calvin Marcus of Barbados who threw 60.40 meters for second place and Kevin Nedrick out of Jamaica in 58.33 to get bronze. Legends of the Game was a hit and organizers planned a repeat. The event featured some of Dominica's veterans in football. It was a very overwhelming um, experience, and uh, not just 77 sports, but I've done a lot of entertainment events. The legends have already put the committee together with me, and you know, involving some of them. And we're going to sit down and get a nice date, you know, a couple of months down the line before the year end, and do another one. So hopefully, we want to do it during the Creole season, you know, just before the festival, before the the the, the um, you know, Creole in the park and stuff like that. So people will be on island for that, and then they will get, you know, and hopefully that can be on the calendar of events and be an annual vibe in that timing. Central Legends defeated those from the north 3-2. The man of the match went to George Dangler. Dangerous Public Enemies won the 2017 White Oak Rum Domino Championship. They made light work of Wake Up Stars from Portsmouth by 592 points. Final scores, Enemies 4,011, Stars 3,419. Top scorers for Enemies were Delvin Esprit and Jeff Defoe, 1,494. Henderson Ambrose and Gifford John Lewis, 1,466. And Nelson Boston and Oliver Yankee, 890. Alan Bruno and Peters scored 803 points. And Royston Castle and Denison, 690 in a losing effort for Stars. Jomaya Timothy and Corbin Paul were selected from a pool of 34 players here who moved to the second phase of the Flo and Manchester United competition in Trinidad and Tobago. The players went through skilled-based competitions in the areas of short passing, control and dribbling. I've been excited to be selected to go to Trinidad to play with the Manchester United coaches. As you know, I'm a Manchester United fan. Yeah, I need to keep focused. Because it's a key because sometimes the coaches give you a time limit to do a drill. So you need to do it fast and you keep going. Trust me, it feels good. I really appreciate it. I need to improve my control, opening up and 
and let us be free to go for the ball. Smart Tarish United lifted the 2017 Under-17 Boys Trophy to the tune of a 4-1 win against Ian Douglas Bombers Football Club in the finals. Jomaya Timothy, Keanu Martin, Clemenson Isaac and Dejante Joseph scored for Tarish, while Kyle Langley scored for Bombers. Former West Indies cricket captain Jimmy Adams took over as director of cricket at the West Indies Cricket Board in January. The 49-year-old replaced Richard Pibus, who opted not to renew his contract after serving for three years. This has been the 2017 Sports in Review. It has been my pleasure serving you in 2017, and I look forward to serving you in 2018. On behalf of the entire production team, I am Kenny Williams, wishing you season's greetings and all the best for 2018.